Mortal Kombat 10 releases next week on April 14th. And in the following video, I will be showing you guys what you can expect from the Collector's Edition developed by Course. So Mortal Kombat 10 is one of the more anticipated fighting games coming out this year and the collector's edition, collectors with a K, is probably one of the bigger game unboxings that I've done in a very long time. Already I can tell they spent a good amount of money on the packaging because it comes in a nice really big box here with some gold sleeving. But I'll give you guys the old spinorama shot of what you guys can expect. So like I said, it comes in a pretty solid box. The iconic Mortal Kombat logo is on the very top and it is all vacuum sealed very nicely in this cellophane sleeve. So let's dig right into it and we will see what we got in the inside. Actually, you wanna be careful here because I may actually reuse this box a little bit later. I find like the more, most of the storage boxes I have in my inventory are actually from purchases of other items. They make really good places to store game wires, controllers, and all the other stuff. So we get rid of the sleeve here. There we go. Place this down over here. And as I expected, a very, very nice box in the front with gold lettering. Once again, this one is developed by a company called Course. So let's us open this up and see what we have on the inside. So first off, we have, by the looks of it, from the inside, we have a box with an X engraved into the styrofoam. We have the copy of the game on the side right here, which is lifted off by this little ribbon. Kind of disappointed that this did not come in a limited edition steel book, but it is what it is. A steelbook is always nice, especially when you get to higher price collector's editions like this. So we'll lift off the foam topping. Right there, we'll place this off to the side. So it also comes with, this is just a brief overview of the company who designed this limited edition. And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity saying that your statue and this collector's edition is official. Then we have another layer of foam. Very, very high quality foaming and packaging on this product. This was where the kunai was placed. And then on the inside, once again, we have what you're probably buying this collector's edition for, which is the scorpion figure. Remove the cellophane wrap just to remove some of the glare. Do a 360 rotation of the game by itself. And then I'll let you guys look on the inside of what the disc looks like. And it actually has a, the disc itself has a very retro feel to it. They didn't do the easy route and just copied the game box art which is also which is always a very nice touch to change it up from the manual and the actual game disc right there. I was actually expecting there to be a little bit of a stand for the character but he stands in a triple tripod formation so he doesn't actually require one which is also nice because it takes up less shelf space so we'll do a little bit of a close-up and rotation of what the stand looks like. So some extra things also included in the collector's edition of this game is some bonus DLC. So first off we have the gold scorpion skin. So this is an exact skin of the statue itself that you can use inside the game. And then we also have a bonus playable character which gives you a code for Goro. So you can play as Goro inside the game. And then we also have a code for the combat pack which says it has iconic guest characters, classic MK combatants, and theme skin packs. So some extra DLC that is located behind the manual of the game on the front cover. So some extra DLC for all you Mortal Kombat fans out there. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my unboxing of the Mortal Kombat 10 Collector's Edition developed by Course. I've been playing around with the figure a little bit more off screen and think a couple things I've noticed is that the figure itself is made with a very high quality. The resin is very, very solid and it actually has a little bit more of a cartoonish feel in comparison to the actual character in the game if you compare the two directly. But overall it is extremely well built and even though it doesn't come with a stand, it's very, very sturdy just because he strikes like a tripod position. So yeah, there's no risk of it like falling over your shelf. Uh, over, but I would say that the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed in is that the game itself did not come in a steelbook case, which is, I think it should be standard in all collector's edition nowadays. If you're gonna buy the most expensive version of the game, they could at least put the game in a steelbook. But that is what you get in the collector's edition. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you are looking for a full walkthrough of the game, of its campaign story, mode be sure to hit that subscribe button and follow along on the channel because I will be doing a complete series with a K on release date on April 14th so hopefully I will see you again other than that thank you guys for watching and as always have a fantastic day